Hey everyone, it's the Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of Satanic Illuminati Media Exposed. In today's video, I wanted to do an expose on Britney Spears' new song featuring Iggy Azalea, Pretty Girls. The reason that I wanted to do this expose is because there is a subtle yet very clear agenda to destroy the nation and our countries, to bring about a new world order, a global unified system that the Bible actually prophesied about, saying that it would be the Antichrist kingdom. In order to bring about this system, there are many things they need to accomplish, but one of them is the destruction of the family. The family unit is the very fabric of our countries, and Satan, working with his henchmen, the elite, illuminated ones within these mystery schools, know this very well and are attacking all out family. They are trying to confuse sexuality, making men think that they can be women with this whole propaganda thing with Bruce Jenner, making women think that empowerment is being a whore that goes out to the club all the time and doesn't really fulfill her responsibilities as a woman and they are attacking children in the schools etc etc there is an all-out assault on the family and the traditional values that have kept the country stable and that's part of the agenda they need to do this so when they're doing videos like this what they're essentially doing is taking attack on the family to destabilize the country in order to bring about a new system by the destruction of the family and this specifically is an attack on women especially young women to condition and brainwash them god has a design for women and women listen this is not it not even close the way that women are being portrayed in the entertainment industry in the media is ungodly it's absolutely satanic they are promoting the bad girl as the girl that all women should aspire to be like that's absolute nonsense and ridiculousness. So take that into consideration. There is an agenda to destroy the family. Every single member, the young boys, the young girls, the father, the mother, every single one, and specifically propaganda created by the entertainment industry like this is an absolute subtle but blatant attack on young innocent women and who they are and their identity. So keep that in mind. That's what this is all about. What they're trying to push is the Jezebel spirit, the bad boy obsessed, materialistic, shallow, pretty girl. Uh, the Bible describes her as the immoral woman. You can look in the book of Proverbs and it actually describes her. I've done a biblical study and I'll leave it linked up in the description section below. Bad girls exposed. Men, she is poison. Stay away. It's very hard not to be attracted as a man to these women. On the outside, they look very good and they are very seducing because of that but ultimately inside they are rotten as poison and bring death and destruction into a man's life so stay absolutely away from these women do not be like a pathetic little dog who cannot control himself salivating all over the place with no self-control be self-controlled be a real man do not fall for these women and women do not aspire to be this this is the elite trying to brainwash you into becoming a woman that will be absolutely useless to your society useless to the church useless to the to your children and basically just useless this is the mind control to take you a beautiful woman a woman who god has ordained to be virtuous virtuous faithful mature responsible loving all these things and turn it into absolute garbage so that society can crumble and fall apart men we are also under attack and we'll talk about that in future videos you can tune into the godly bros youtube channel a men's ministry and a youtube channel that i've dedicated to topics like this but keep that in mind men and women we are under attack women the elite are using propaganda like this uh, i got this picture by the way from the video itself so you see pretty girls on saturn and for those of you who recognize occult symbolism you're going to point out right as well right away that saturn is in fact a symbol or a representation a esoteric occult representation of satan so literally you have satan's pretty girls so satanic pretty girls subliminal messages in the video but warning she is poison 
So that's basically what the video is. You have the Barbie style blonde pink dit uh, who is wearing a satanic uh, lightning bolt necklace, by the way. Uh, so that's basically all it is. It's a bunch of uh, girls who are programmed by the world to be very worldly uh, in the video. So again, just attacking what a real woman should be and promoting the bad girl as the it girl. Uh, also, strangely enough, they had some alien uh, symbolism. And I'm just going to point out uh, when we're going to be seeing the elite using alien symbolism, it's actually demonic. Aliens are in fact demons. The phenomenon of aliens in the world is just humanity recognizing that yes, we are not alone and that there are other beings. But instead of properly addressing them as demons, they mistakenly are being instructed to identify them as aliens. But it's the same concept. Falling intelligent beings that have come from another place to here, and right now there's a war between these beings on this planet. Uh, so this is uh, the symbolism. You see Iggy Azalea literally falling from the heavens like a fallen angel uh, into a pool. I added the horns here, but uh, coming out of the water and ascending uh, from the water as a Nephilim fallen being. Uh, so that is just interesting. I just wanted to point that out that we have this type of alien, satanic, fallen angel symbolism in the pretty girls video. But you're going to commonly see this uh, with the elite because there is an alien uh, agenda to deceive mankind into thinking that fallen angels are in fact nothing more than aliens. But uh, it's a clever deception, and here you see the symbolism being used in the Pretty Girls video. Same thing with the Katy Perry Super Bowl performance. Uh, as you may have seen uh, in my exposés, I talked about there was also fallen angel satanic symbolism. So this is a reoccurring theme in occult uh, New World Order Illuminati symbolism, is this fallen angel propaganda evolution by aliens, etc. Uh, so, yeah. But, I mean, other than the fallen angel propaganda, New World Order stuff, the main message in the video is just basically worldly programming. You have these blonde Californian girls. I'll point out, for those of you a little bit more uh, deep into the symbolism, uh, she, d she is wearing the leopard print, uh, which is a symbol for the MK Ultra mind control sex kitten programming, uh, which obviously Britney Spears is under. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos on Britney Spears showing how she is absolutely definitely a victim of MK Ultra mind control program, there's a massive problem of it in the entertainment industry in Hollywood and she displays obvious symptoms. So go back to my channel and check that out. I won't talk about it, but just interesting that that symbolism is being shown. So again, uh, just clueless materialism, a bunch of blonde girls, uh, really ditzy, clueless, uh, driving around with, this, with the roof down and there's money flying all over the place, so they're dancing to it. Uh, another thing is the promotion of the Jezebel woman. Here she is dancing in a group of guys who are just uh, lustfully checking her out. And you see, women, you don't need to be doing this. You don't need to go uh, to the club on a Friday night with your girls and dance in a circle and have guys look at you like this. Uh, you might think that this is just fun and innocent, but it's actually really sad. There's something internal inside of you that needs to be healed that only God can heal. Uh, and what you're doing is you're just taking in, you're succubusing all this f bad attention. It's not healthy, good attention. It's lustful. It's it's carnal. It's fleshly. It's of the lower animal nature. Um, but uh, you're better than that. You don't need to be doing this. But again, the elite promoting this type of girl, wanting all the girls to go to the club on Friday and have no shame in dancing and rubbing up on horny guys who are lusting after them because uh, that's what they want. They don't want good mothers who are going to create a stable society and raise their children and protect their children. No, they want mommy at the club so that the children are being programmed by the schools and by the TV instead of mom and dad. So uh, they want mom and, uh, to be at the club dancing it up on the Friday night not at home, responsible, taking care of business. Uh, they get you women to love the player gaze, the lustful 
gaze that men will give you. Ladies, when a man looks at you this way, and it's funny because they show this scene of her dancing like a Jezebel, uh, getting lustfully eaten up by men visually, and then uh, they show, again, another lustful guy. So they're just reinforcing that this is what women want. Women want to be that woman who all the guys is giving this look to at the club. Like, oh yeah, that's, a, that's not a good thing. That's a ridiculous thing. Um, that's really sad because all he sees you as is a piece of meat. Um, when he's checking you out like this, they're like, ooh, what's up, baby? How are you? Look at that. Look at that behind. and Look at that rack. Ooh. I'm like, come on. You don't watch this pig. This is, this is a boy. He's not even a man. Uh, have some more self-worth, ladies. Seriously. So Iggy Azalea basically walks up to an ATM in the video and uh, does this little satanic hand sign and the thing kind of just like, gets all electroshocked and money starts flying out of it and of course let us worship money as it falls they're worshiping and praising their baphomet god who has provided worldly fame and fortune for them in the entertainment industry because they have become willing servants do they know what's going on probably not uh britney is probably literally a mk ultra mind control victim iggy azalea is just a puppet who is willing to get in videos like this and dance around w with money falling down and promoting all the lower values of what it is to be a woman and she collects a big paycheck from it so these are satanic sellouts um, one way to view the entertainment industry if you want to understand how this works uh, the entertainment industry is like a big massive strip club uh, it's very degrading it's it's an industry and a stage that's kind of gross and you know like it's kind of shameful to even stand on it but there's some people in the world who will at all costs get up on that stage and prostitute themselves out for the entertainment industry uh, controllers and um, do whatever it is that they need to do on that stage to collect that big check so that is what we're having here people willing to prostitute themselves out you see if you go to your boss and you want to go up on stage and instead of stripping or acting like a whore you want to sing a song or write a poem guess what no 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 you can't do that you need to fulfill the requirements of what a person needs to do on that particular stage so the entertainment industry is a sellout factory where people come to whore out their moral code and and their own values in order for them to get a little taste of fame and fortune and uh, this is not what life is about brothers and sisters and everyone watching uh, life is not about this senseless materialism i'll just point out also uh, there was some masonic symbolism for those of you who don't know the freemasons are interconnected to the illuminati they are one of the brotherhoods within the the network of secret societies so here you have the uh, masonic pillars and uh, the next scene is just coincidentally checkerboard floor pattern all over the place as you can see this girl's skirt uh this woman has a, a jacket black and white and this guy's dressed in black and white so from one scene it starts off masonic pillars which is a trademark of the illuminati symbolism followed up by the checkerboard floor um, so ladies women please there is an absolute satanic attack on you the bible talks about a woman who is conformed to the word of god empowered by his spirit the virtuous woman she's described in proverbs 31 she is loving faithful worthy of praise she's mature and irresponsible this is the woman brothers men out there this is who you want although the other one might be tempting on the outside she just leaves to absolute destruction she's out of control she's selfish she's a jezebel she's sinful she's heartless unloyal and she's a manipulator who uses her looks to get her way get away from her you don't need that it's garbage stop being brainwashed into desiring this men and women, stop being brainwashed into becoming this. Strive for this, women, and men desire this type of woman. This is the one that will bring fulfillment. This is the one that will keep the family strong. She's the one who's going to stay at home, not have to go to the club on Friday night because she's brainwashed by the elite. She's going to do her job as a mother, raise her children, be responsible. She doesn't have to have a Friday night out, at night out every once in a while with her friends to go grind up on horny men at the club. She is a responsible mother, and it is because of women like this that the elite will not be able to bring in their antichrist system. So women, rise up, become 
what God has ordained you to be so that you can fight this coming system of evil that is trying to destroy you because whether you realize it or not, you are the very fabric of our country. Thanks for taking the time. This is the Vigilant Christian saying God bless each and every one of you. As always, stay vigilant and fear no evil.